England's last defeat on German soil was in 1987 to West Germany in nearby Dusseldorf and Glenn Hoddle of Monaco was in the team. We stood no chance at all. <laughs> we were playing our second string that night. I think we were. <laughs> well, it's almost exactly a year since England's 3-2 win in Berlin, a year in which the team's performances have never quite touched the same heights. But despite the absence of several recognised German football. Ali. Turned by Ali in towards Vardy. Goalkeeper hesitated. There was contact there between Testegen and Vardy, who was maybe looking for it. Andre Testegen just seemed to hesitate almost faithfully. It looked like he was favourite, wasn't it? That he just pulled out at the end. Livermore down to Lalana, halted by Rudiger. Livermore with a terrific challenge. Ali in towards Vardy again, but it's just hooked away from him by Kimmich. It's going to be a corner. This was lovely play, Deli Ali just came off his defender there, and you just think Stegen's going to come. Right for me, he's just looking for it. He just got in the way, though. He's touched it round him. Made sure he's dived backwards, the goalkeeper. He's done quite well, but... Werner every inch of the way. It's really good defending. One back, though. Here's Kroos. Now Potonski! Head against Michael Keane. Is he? Ouch. Alana with the corner in towards Dyer. It was in the 91st minute that he powered home from a corner in Berlin a year ago. Eric Dyer. Similar position, wasn't it? Right, the same position. In that German midfield, because Michael is seen as the natural successor to Kroos. That's a loose pass, and it's Lalana who's streaking forward with Vardy in support, going for goal himself, and it comes back off the post. Adam Lalana is scored in his luck. But this was the interception, wasn't it? It was a poor ball and he's gone. And you think, well, is he going to get caught here? He, but his strength and his power and his pace, he's thinking, he's looked up as well to see if he had support, but he did the right thing, didn't he? There was a little glance to see if Vardy was around and it's just hit the centre of the post. If it goes inside, it's, it's a goal. Oops. This guy's passed to Sané and a good one. Now Potoski. Well, he's usually better than that from that kind of range. Yeah, it was on his favoured left foot. He had a little bit more time, actually, than he thought. It's a nice little ball from Sane there. He's got more time. He's, he's one touch and hit it. From Jamie Vardy, that. Yeah, you've got to say, Germany, this first half, have been very loose, giving the ball away constantly. Vardy, great chance here. Deli Alli! Drove it straight against Marc-Andre Testegen, and he stood tall and managed to keep it out. Again, Germany wasteful, giving the ball away in the last third. Vardy just pokes it through. He's got to score. He's got to score. It's not good enough just hitting the target from there. You've got to pick a point. It's a good save. He stayed big, but uh, he's got to manufacture something there. A little curl around the goalkeeper, something. But uh... not punching. It's come for Brandt. And his eyes lit up there as it fell to his left foot, Julian Brandt. Yeah, it's a poor punch. The last place you can punch it as a goalkeeper is in, in between the width of your uh, of your goals. It's got to be high and it's got to be wide first, and hopefully distance. But uh, it's hard to uh, get into the penalty area, into those finishing positions. Cross in towards Patulski! Just couldn't quite connect. Almost a big finish to his big night. That's top level, isn't it? Look at that. Half a young um, Joachim Love will soon want to use the match look forward rather than back. England have stolen it again here. Ali. Lalana. Oh, here's a chance for Eric Dyer. Just couldn't quite get it out of his feet, but he's still got the ball. Came off the goalkeeper and fell behind Vardy, could have gone anywhere. And it 
to spell for Vigo to clear. Just couldn't get it out of his feet, could he? Deli Ali was in an offside position, doesn't go for it. Vardy goes for in, in behind, in between the defender and the goalie, and the stadium him with a good save, really good save, but uh, encouraging. First substitution in the evening, the familiar figure of Andre Schuller, who is really a substitute for Borussia Dortmund. He's going to come on in place of Julian Brandt. Schuller's first cap since the European finals. Joined Dortmund from Wolfsburg in the summer, but hasn't been able to force his way into the starting 11. And a down is a chance for Ali. As well won by Cahill. Ali couldn't. So it's going to operate from this right hand side. In the shot. It's a decent run, isn't it? Introduction to the game coming from Southern. Comes inside on Dive to Ali. Space here for Walker and well seen by Ali. The Lama's made the run into the box. Trying to squeeze it back to Vardy. It's only a corner. It's a great move, isn't it, by England? Really patient in their build-ups, fair man always, and suddenly an injection of pace with the ball and without the ball. Another England deb debutant. This is Nathan Redmond of Southampton, one of Southgate's Toulon heroes from last summer. And he's been earmarked for the European Under-21 Championships this coming summer in Poland, but getting a well-earned chance at senior international level tonight. England will be in. Gross. Here's Schuller. And now Podolski. Ah! Oh! There's the moment of the night. Lukas Podolski in his final German international scores another screamer for his country. They call that left foot of his Der Hammer here in Germany. And that's why unstoppable it was meant to be. International goal number 49 for Lukas Podolski, one of the best. That's an incredible strike, isn't it? Nice little one-two, he just struck it perfectly. Kept his body weight through the ball, his balance was right, that's perfect. What a way to bow out. No goalkeeper can stop that. Only Lothar Mateus and Miroslav closer. Have won more German caps, only closer and get Muller have scored more. This place suddenly you've got Rashford to deal with. Pommels will be absolutely delighted, won't it? <laughs> Ooh, awkward bounce that for Keane. And here's Sane. Good save up by Hart. Really good save. Not just to stop it with his left hand, but to gather it in because Timo Abs Werner was waiting. Absolutely, Clive. That's the key to it. If you watch here, what a save this is. The reactions, bang. One slip in Michael Keane's night, and he was almost punished. That's the concentration levels at this, you know, international level that you have to have as a defender, and he'll learn from that. Gareth said before the game he needs to, to see what players can learn from these sort of... But he's made just two appearances for United since the end of November. And Gareth Southgate felt it was a good time to, in his words, give him a boost and remind him that we're still thinking about him, and at 21 years of age there's plenty of football ahead of Luke Shaw. Yeah, Bertrand's done well tonight, but uh, it's lovely to have Shaw coming back, and it's perfect for him to win that role well for me. I, I think this kid, when he first... Talking of perfect. <laughs> it's a perfect night for Lukas Podolski. 130 caps for Germany. What a, an achievement, and what a way to sign off. He actually... Announced his international retirement after the championships in the summer. He was granted his one last appearance and he's kept it with a breathtaking goal which separates the two teams at this point. His 
replacement, number 21, is Sebastian Rudy. The Hoffenheim captain has actually agreed to move to Bayern Munich for next season. He's a central midfield player, but it's all about Podolski for now. Cue the stirring music. <laughs> You're on a handkerchief, Glenn. Here's Sané. Possibilities here, Muller hooks a goal, Woodsburg. 